It's Mistress Barbie, and I'm gonna teach you how to behave. You better learn how to behave. The only thing harder than talking about sex is talking about money. Makeup, weed, cigarettes, Ubers, fine dining. That shit takes money. And historically, men make more of it than women. So I'm on a journey to see whether it's possible to close the wage gap and get some negotiation tips from a few experts. So we're gonna go meet Lauren Lyons Cole, a financial expert at Business Insider. Lauren Lyons Cole, hey, hey, hey. She's going to tell us why asking for a raise is different as a woman and give us some tips on asking for a raise successfully. Why is it challenging for a woman to ask for a raise? Women obviously are paid less. Women of color are paid even less than white women. This is the sort of thing that's been going on for so long. There's definitely bias that happens in the workplace. And working hard to combat that is something that I think we all have responsibility to do. How do you know the perfect medium of like negotiating too hard? Be realistic plus like five to 10% extra. Oh, I like that. Because a lot of women, what we think is realistic is not actually as much as you could possibly get. So you gotta be just slightly uncomfortable. Talking about it with other people, totally one of the best salary negotiation hacks that's out there. How do you find that out without like, <laughs> it's a little bit of a taboo? It's like sex. Like at the end of the day, people like talking about. It. Well, I don't know. Maybe in the like clothes, like they like doing yes. it like in a. They're like, oh, but it's fun to talk about it because it's kind of like you're not supposed to. There's a lot of emotion around money. I think right. Like we all grew up in different families with different financial resources, different comfort levels around talking about money. But yet, it's something that we use all the time. <laughs> Thank you so much for meeting with me on such short nerve. Oh, hi. Would you mind just, yeah, close Sorry. the door out of the way? So I want to discuss possibly getting a raise. In the past four months, I've actually upped the followers on the company's social media from 500,000 to 750,000. There's a lot of spam bots out there. So I don't know how many of those are actually real versus how many could actually spend money. Actually, our digital sales have gone up 75% since I've started. How, who gave you access to the numbers? Susie from accounting. If I fire Susie from accounting, I will give you the $5,000 raise. Well, I just don't think that's fair to Susie. She has a couple kids. <laughs> I think Barbie did a good job. I liked how she came prepared with notes because it's really easy to forget your talking points in the moment. There are a few things she could have done a little bit better. It's really natural to come in feeling defensive when you're asking for more money, but it's a lot better to feel collaborative and get the boss kind of on your side. I think it's that women generally make less money than men for the same work. So we've learned to ask for what we're worth. But at the end of the day, your boss can always say no. So we're gonna go to an undisclosed location and meet an expert at demanding money. Wow. Mistress Thick is a financial dominatrix, AKA a fin dom. You are going to become my financial slave. A findom is someone who receives money or gifts by demanding it from someone who identifies as submissive or inferior. What's in your wallet is worth more than what's in your pants. So we're on our way to go meet Mistress Thick. And fun fact about me, there is a Findom account that actually catfishes using my pictures and gets money from men. Weirdly enough, I get a lot of DMs from a variety of women asking me to help them catfish <laughs> their daddies. And they ask me to like, take pictures of me going like this because someone asked for a picture with like a peace sign and you bet your horses I send them the pics. The Trump mask. <laughs> this is when we're feeling extra sadistic. You put this on a slave. I would love to dom someone in a Trump mask. Just like <laughs> kick their face. <laughs> like, grab my pussy. Yeah. I dare you. I dare, right I dare you. This is something that I'm not afraid or ashamed to say. I feel men are inferior if it's not for procreation. 
in manual labor, you should be locked away somewhere. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I feel like. And I never said it out loud because Billy Jr. <laughs> 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 on a given day, how many people are you talking to? Ooh, that can vary. On a regular basis, I'm talking to like three to four. Those are my own and collared boys. They're checking in, they're talking to me, how's your day, mistress, how's everything? And how do you demand money from someone in a way that it's not just you just asking for cash, it's like a relationship that's building? I make it clear that what they get from me is real and authentic. Money represents the, the tangible exchange. One of the boys, Tim, sent me a hundred dollars. Oh, perfect. And he says, thank you for allowing me to serve. Good job, bitch. <laughs> Send more. <laughs> and his reply was, yes, mistress. So I'm making it very clear, I know my worth and I'm not gonna go beneath it. And as women, we're so used to doing that. We're so, so used to like settling for yes, way less. and compromising. As women, we have to set our terms and make men meet us on our terms. So true. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing. Give me a hug. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Many may think there's no correlation between a financial advisor and a dominatrix, but at the end of the day, they're empowering women to be confident in demanding what they need.